So I'd have to say that it is hilarious that the first day I decide to actually make a video about FPV in a long time, that uh, Joshua Bardwell releases a video about the very same thing I wanted to talk about. What's up guys, I'm Chad. This is the Dorky and 40 channel. We focus on RC, FPV, all that kind of stuff. No prep drag racing videos coming for you guys soon. So with supply chain concerns and things just kind of being stale with COVID and everything, not a lot's really been happening with myself and FPV. I built a wing. I put that video up like a couple months ago. That's really about the only thing that is new with that until recently. So I did decide to kind of upgrade or replace a couple of my ships. The first thing was my Betaflight quad here. I bought an FPV cycle glide frame, but it just does not have the noise profile that I was looking for. So I went back to the good old TBS Source 1, and this is what we're going to be talking about today and all the flying as well, and showing you my results using uh, Chris's tuning methods and Mark UAV Tech, some of his in there too, because we got to give him credit as well. I did just finish this Apex build with Flight One and the brand new steel motors on it. Both of these ships are running Tracer. Of course, we've got the Tango 2 here running Tracer and the newest Crossfire firmware. I believe a new version is coming out today or maybe tomorrow. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Flight One, I'm a huge fan of Falco X and the way everything flies. And this Apex flies great. It can take anything that you throw at it. Just the build quality, the carbon, everything, the new motors, the new motor jelly props, all that stuff, everything is great. So you might also realize that both of these are on analog. Running DJI and stuff, you just can't get the full, unleash the full power of FPV. Yes, it's great for cruising and video quality and all that kind of stuff, but getting it just the fastest response time, latency, you know, I've moved to like CCD cameras or the Minchanted version of the Runcam 4 here. You know, you really need analog video just to get all this super awesome performance. Now this Betaflight quad here, I've been working on this tune pretty much since 4.0 come out and not much has changed except for it's gotten better and better and better. But like I said, in the past couple weeks since I've gotten into watching Chris videos and get into FPV a little bit more again, I decided to try out some of his tuning methods. My filter settings were pretty close. I went through, did his recommended thing. And when it came to the, the PID values, um, you know, I ran high PIDs like P's in like the 60s, D's while I was running D min and stuff like that. We're not doing that anymore. You know, now I've got that master multiplier turned up all the way to 1.7. My feed forward is like 250, 270. I don't know. D gains are in the mid 50s. I gains are in the 160s, 170s. We can take a closer look at it, but the thing flies fantastic. Like it's crazy to think that we really never thought that it was possible to just keep on going. You know, especially a lot of us like myself that have been doing this for a long time, we just kind of take for granted that we get to a certain point and be like, oh, things fly really great. But we would never just keep on pushing and pushing and pushing. So I'm super happy that Chris has come along to like help push things. I see that he's even getting some pushback from like different developers and stuff like that because they don't want to get a bad rap for flyaways and things break in and all that kind of stuff. Now I can't speak for everybody's quads, but the Source One, there's so much carbon and meat in there. This thing has a fantastic noise profile. You can go back through any of my videos back a couple of, within the past year and a half to two years and just see the black box logs that I've done on this that show there's no noise. I've got screws running all the way up through the bottom through literally probably 13 millimeters of carbon before it gets to the flight stack inside there. And this is old stuff. This is like an F4 30, uh, BL Heli 32 bit. So this really is nothing special. And this is probably my best flying quad now. Betaflight's flying so good on here that I'm almost ready to flash it onto the Revolt OSD and ditch the Alpha. 
version that I'm running on flight one. I mean, they just have such a hard time keeping up with everything. I don't really know what their problem is. They can't keep up with software. They can't keep up with anything. I mean, just trying to get the actual software on here since this was a brand new in the box revolt was literally impossible. So enough of the yapping. Let's go ahead and show you guys some of my personal flight footage. And we'll also talk through some of it, show you the PIDs. Hope you guys want to maybe give it a try for yourself. I do not think that you will be disappointed at all. In fact, maybe you will be reinvigorated into FPV flying like I have. Because I have do things with this quad that I don't think I've ever been able to do. So let's check it out. Take a look at the PIDs here. You can see that we're running really high. We got the master slider up to 1.7. PD balance is 0.9, 1.1 on the PD gain, 1.7 on the stick response. You can see all that glorious pin loop stuff going on there. Nothing over here in this column, D min, all that stuff like that is all turned off. Anti gravity, go into the filter settings. You can see we are running absolutely zero gyro filters except for the dynamic and the RPM filter. And then over here, we're running the 100 hertz by quad filter. sure if we wanted to we could get away with probably going up another notch on that PD master slider but everything is just flying spectacular now it's important to remember that these PIDs are for your average great built five inch quad so your 630 to like 700 gram build is probably where you want to be here for ideal conditions i'm going to do some testing on my smaller builds like my three inch 533 the tiny trainer things like that see if we can crank that stuff even more and just find out and see what happens so here's some more flight footage for you guys Thanks again for stopping by. We'll see you next time with some RC drag racing videos and some more FPV stuff. Peace out.